Hello, hello today. Let's talk about how to use your Find Hub on your Google um, phone. It's possible to get this app, um, this Find Hub, on the Google Play Store, of course. And if you're going to use this Find Hub, you can find your devices and items. You can see the locations of the smartphones, tablets, headphones, and other accessories on our map. Even if the device and the items are not online, they are offline, that's possible. To locate a missing device near where we can play a sound on it, for example. So, how we perform this? For example, here is one of such a device, which are a, tram, um, um, a device. It's a tag. This tag can be um, tagged by the Find Hub. So, we are now switch on this tag and get this near VR phone. You can see what's hot, what's happened there. Then it's automatically gets on that device that it is new and like to pair. You can then directly pair this each other to your hub and use it, of course. And then you go to the find hub and in the find hub app, you can see what's going on. For example, we connect now this local tag here um, and you see what's going on next. Google Find Hub helps us to locate our devices safely. The app should always be used in a responsible, safe and legal way, of course. To maintain a safe experience, we must adhere to the Find Hub accessibility use the policy. And using Find Hub to track individuals without their consent may be a crime punishable by law. So take care, okay? Agree and continue. Now we add it to the Find Hub. This is directly where the um, home screen possible or if you are in the Find Hub itself. If we lost the device, we can remotely lock or delete it. We can also add our own message to it, which will appear on the lock screen in case someone finds our device. So now we open this app. Continue. And of course, continue. Here we have now to enter the pin of our smartphone. So now we are here. You see, it is on a map, and this is the um, map where we can find our um, device, for example. And then we can, of course, go to settings with each of them, and we can get a different uh, name for it, like Yup. Okay, a category like the laptop, for example, and we can add people, for example. This will um, be able that others get access to locate that device. Okay, so we can share that device. And, and of course, we can remove it. So then we are um, able to play a sound on it. Did you hear it? Yes, of course. Huh? And this will louder and louder. So it stops the sound right now. And of course, we can go to find nearby. And you can see now here that information. If we are nearly, there is a, it's here, it's here, it's here. Okay, it will give you um, the location where it should be if it is nearly. The other thing, of course, we can go and play a sound. We can stop the sound, for example. And the other thing is, of course, to get the location. We use first the map and then we find nearby, okay? And that's really cool. If there are other people, you can get them information. For example, we're going to my bicycle. My bicycle now, we mark it as a lost. We mark the device as a lost to receive a notification if the Find Hub network locates it. That means millions, thousands, millions out there with Google accounts um, will be able to locate or to give information of the location, but it, it's privacy, of course. And here we can enter a phone number, a message, or an email. Um, what the information will appear in if someone finds these device, okay, and it on their phone it will be shown then, and then it can be contact to you, for example. That's a really cool thing, I think, to locate some things, uh, lost stuff, of course.
And if you are give away, for example, or um, do not use it anymore with that phone, for example, or with your account, you can remove them by getting here the settings and remove from the find tab. All data associated with the device will be deleted from the find app. Once the device has been removed, this location will no longer be available in the find app. That is um, okay. This is that what we are going to like. The device needs to be near me. Okay, we remove this, remove that, and now it will be go to um, factory reset again with this half function. Really cool, I think. Yup is gone. I think it's really cool and it is necessary with, uh, it's possible with all um, Android phones out there. This is the 5 mod um, app for your Android phone. Yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Dun dun!